is um, double tennis balls in Carol, but this time it is in Python. So um, thanks for those who were asking about Python. I'm so sorry it took so long to make one. Um, I actually didn't even know that Cody just had it in Python. So I had to go do it myself before I made it a video. Um, so concept is the same. Carol's got to make a pile of double the balls. So the way I do it is I have Carol take one by one each ball, put them in another pile. Um, but as she does it, or so she's going to take each one, put it in a pile. Then when she comes back, for every ball that she takes, she's going to put two down. So it allows, instead of having like a counter, because they don't want you to make any variables, we can just have Carol keep using a while loop and moving and putting balls down until there's none left. So... I'm first just going to make a function and I'm just going to call it move balls. And I apologize if I accidentally do it in Java. I'm so conditioned to Java that I might make a couple mistakes and have to adjust it. So what I'll have Carol do is, again, I know she's not on the ball right now, but this is just assuming she's going to be on the ball. We're going to take the ball. Then we're going to move. We're going to put the ball. And you know what? I'm going to put the while loop in here. So I'm going to say while ball is present. We could do the function in the while loop. Um, or sorry, yeah, but I'm just going to put the while loop in the function. So because I did that, I'm going to need to tab these guys over because they need to be in that while loop. Um, so take ball, move, put ball, and turn around. And then move, turn around. And I am going to do this in an iterative process so you can kind of see. Like I'm going to do a little, what I mean by that is I'm going to do a piece of it. You can see what it does. That way I don't write from start to finish and you have no idea what I just did. So because Carol is not on the ball right now, I need to do a move first before I call my move balls. see what this does. It looks like it's doing what I need it to do, so just to make sure. Okay. And I could have made double here. I think when I usually do this, I probably do put two balls. Um, but it doesn't matter because I can just put them, put two balls down when I go when I move them back um, okay so now I'm going to have Carol move again because she or he is not on the pile of balls and then I'm going to make a function called double balls So it's going to be almost identical. I'm going to copy this. There might be a few changes i got to make, but just fix your indentation. If you copy it, just make sure your indentation's on that line. So while ball's present, take ball, move, put ball. We're going to have to put two balls. Turn around, move, turn around. Okay, so... Because 
I have my function starting off by taking the ball and then moving, I'm going to turn around here. This cow will not be facing the right way. So let's see if this Oh, okay, forgot to call the function. So remember, writing the function is not enough. You actually have to call it, which I just forgot to do. Okay, and then the last thing is just for Cal to go back to here facing the right way. So we'll have to move twice and then turn around. That's it. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any other questions, let me know if you need help on anything else. Um, because I haven't ran through this course in Python, just let me know if there's any videos you, you need. I'll try and do all the uh, challenges in Python. But other than that, um, you might have to specifically request for videos if there's one you need done. All right, thanks for watching.